Hello, welcome back. What would a return to YouTube be without a book haul video? Outrageous, that's what it would be. So today, that is what we're doing. I have a pile of books that I've recently acquired. I'm gonna share those with you. Now obviously, since I last made videos on YouTube back in 2017, I have bought a lot of books. Um, I'm not gonna share all of those books with you, but I hope over the next few videos, um, you'll hopefully see some of the things that I've really enjoyed over the last two years. I think I'll probably do like a video of <laughs> my top books of 2018 and 2019 maybe combined something like that um for those of you who are interested in what i've been reading in my uh, kind of youtube break a uh, huge youtube break um so today let's just jump into the books that i've been buying in the, like the last month or so so firstly we have raw by cecilia ahern subtitle a story for every woman now i have actually read this book i read it through my library um on my ipad as an ebook and i enjoyed it so much that i wanted a physical copy of it so this is basically a load of short stories um, about women and different types of women. It's an incredibly feminist text and it's beautiful. A little snippet from the back says, a story for every woman, a story for every moment, whether you want to laugh, to be moved, to love, to feel less guilt, to cry, to be comforted, to roar, there is a story for you. I'll read you some of the titles so you can kind of get an idea of what these stories might be. So. Uh, the first one is The Woman Who Slowly Disappeared. We then got The Woman Who Found Bite Marks on Her Skin. The Woman Who Thought Her Mirror Was Broken. The Woman Who Ate Photographs. The Woman Who Forgot Her Name. Lots of things like that. And even just reading the, the names of some of those there, I'm like really, really vividly remembering what happened in the story. And to be quite honest with you, with short stories, that very rarely happens with me. Like I could go back to a short story collection that I raved about at the time, and, and even reading the titles of the like names of the stories, um, it like will no spark no recollection for me, and I really struggle to remember them. But this one, it really kind of hit me in like lots of senses, and I really really enjoyed it. So I would recommend this one. Now onto a load of books that I haven't actually read before. So the first one here I have. Uh, Natives, Race and Class in the Ruins of an Empire by Akala. This one I picked up because I've really been trying hard to educate myself and read a lot more centred around race and from black authors and people from different ethnicities. Um, I've been reading a lot of different stuff this year that I've been really, really enjoying. Um, I'll certainly recommend some stuff in a different video. This one here is a memoir from Akala which uh, kind of details his life, uh, experiences with the police, education, everything um, and how that all links into race and the historical kind of background of living in England. So I am very much looking forward to reading this one. Let me know if you've read this one and if you think there are any other books in a similar vein that you think that I would benefit from reading, definitely let me know in the comments below. In a somewhat similar vein, but this is fiction, I've also picked up Queenie by Candice Carter-Williams. The fictional story around this character named Queenie and on the back here it says, a darkly comic and bitingly subversive take on life love, race and family. So again, a little bit of an educational one for me as well, but in a fictional kind of setting, um, just trying to read more stuff that is kind of through the perspective of people who are not white. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. Another book also written by a person of colour is Bernadine Evaristo's Girl, Woman, Other. And I have seen so much about this book. I've actually already started reading it. I borrowed it from uh, my library, uh, but then it just expired and I didn't manage to finish it. So I need to continue and finish this one. Um, what I read of it I really enjoyed. It basically follows lots of, I think it's 12 um, different people's uh, perspectives and they all kind of link in together I believe. Um, I'm really excited for it. Um, I've heard so many good things so I think it's going to be a good one. Next up we have The Inheritance by Robin Hobb. This is an anthology of tales from the Six Duchies and beyond. Robin Hobb is a fantastic fantasy writer. If you haven't read anything from her, I would highly recommend. I have a whole section of my kind of fantasy shelf there that is just dedicated to her. I love her writing, I love her characters, and I love the world that she has created, um, with, which has the six duchies in. I have actually read some of her other short stories that are set in the same world, and I really, really love them. They give me that small little like bite-sized piece of nostalgia and kind of warm, lovely feeling when you know you're returning to characters characters and stories that you just love and adore and so I'm super looking forward to this and it's got cats on the cover and I love cats so that's fantastic. Next up is another fantasy book and that is The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. This is the author of The Night Circus which is a book I have read. I don't know if I 
loved it though i don't think it's i don't think it's even still on my shelves i think i must have given it away to a charity shop or something however this one does have a cool premise and so i think it's going to be one that i enjoy i have seen a lot of people raving about it a little snippet from the back says when zachary wallen stumbles across a mysterious library book containing details from his own life among its pages it leads him on a quest unlike any other so exciting it sounds good like i said i've heard good things so hopefully it will be a good one and the penultimate book i picked up was expectation by anna hope on the front here it says what happened to the women we were supposed to become so this one i believe is the story of three uh friends who were you know all inseparable when they were younger um and they've all gone off and done their kind of life stuff and 10 years later they've come back and are kind of ruminating over where their lives went and what you know all the plans they had and whether those plans came true and, and all of that kind of stuff it sounds like it's going to be one of those really good like female friendship kind of bonding books that i do quite enjoy so i'll let you know what i think once i've read it the final book i had to show you may seem a little bit strange to some but to me i'm a person who likes to be organized i'm a person that likes to read up on topics and things that may be happening or happening to me in the future and so the book I've got here is Expecting Better Why the Conventional Pregnancy Wisdom is Wrong and What You Really Need to Know by Emily Oster. So I was meant to have been getting married this year and following that <laughs> myself and Mark were planning on starting a family and so that hasn't happened we're not getting married until next year now and whilst I know we could definitely have a child, we don't have to be married, um, in my mind I just want, that's something that I want, um, I'm not religious but I just want to be married before I start having children and so to appease my little broody brain because I was basically going to be trying for a baby right now, um, I've decided to read up on the topic <laughs> and read some books that hopefully will make me a little bit more prepared for when I actually do have a child. Um, if I ever do have a child, hopefully that is something that does happen for me. Um, so that's what I've been doing. I have been reading a few random different books um, about pregnancy and people's kind of anecdotal um, experiences with pregnancy and things like that. So this is one of them and I will certainly let those of you who are interested know what I think of this one um, once I've read it. So there we are, those are all the books that I've bought somewhat recently. I don't know if regular book calls are going to be a thing on my channel. Um, I certainly am not buying as many books as I used to um, when I was making bitchy videos before. However, I will share with you when I do buy them. Um, so yeah, let me know what you've been buying recently, what have you been reading recently, what have you been up to? Please come talk to me in the comments. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you soon. Bye!